for question 24, uh, we have a SHM line that arise because of uh, the object being placed in the water. Uh, so up thrust right, is like the force that varies with the um, displacement. Okay, and hence right, you see you whenever you have SHM right, uh, you have a force right, that varies with the displacement. Uh, depend on where you are. So in the free body diagram that I draw below right, you can see how the forces right on the object uh, differs okay um, at different position so the net force against distance graph right therefore will just be a straight line graph or huh, as what you expect which is right you see normally we see the f against uh, x graph right it's just this graph why not okay so this is like x is equals to zero this is like positive x naught. This is like negative x naught. Yeah, and the line right is a straight line. Then right, how what about the u against d? Uh, u against d right will also be a straight line because right you look at the formula. Um, up thrust is equals to rho v g. Okay, uh, rho and g are constant. Uh, the cross sectional area is a constant as well. So right, the um, up thrust right really depends on the depth, yeah. So the depth right is uh, d. And with this right, you can see why right uh, at d equals zero there will be no up thrust. So suppose right you leave this thing uh, such that it's no longer submerged. So d is equal to zero. So when d equals zero right, up thrust must be zero. So the up thrust line right cannot be uh, so negative. See, this infers that there's a um, some non-zero value for up thrust when d is zero. So this one is right wrong. Okay. So correct answer right will be uh, option A. Or oh, if you extrapolate the up thrust graph right, it will uh, cross the uh, origin. Okay. So meaning right, there's no up thrust when d is zero. So A is answer.